Welcome to Betty's prestigious property show. Click or call. We do it all. With the rise of many small and large scale retail developers in Uganda, real estate has become a highly commercialized and competitive industry. Interestingly, approximately 80% of the fresh stock of apartment blocks available on the market in Nalia, Chibra, Najera, and Chanja suburbs had sold out. Some players in this industry are ready to tilt engineering rules to suit their commercial interests. Therefore, one needs to be cautious when looking to buy a house, and this is by following the easy steps below. One, make inquiries. Inquire from neighbors if they know of any problems. Who else has interest in the property? If the property is recently painted, this may be a motive to hide something around it. If another person wants to occupy the property on sale, ask how long the property has been vacant and why. Two, search costs. Some property agents charge a cost to help you scout for houses. The cost may vary from one agent to another. One should agree with brokers on a fixed search fee to avoid being cheated and wasting your time moving around properties you would not like. supporting documents before making initial deposit one must ask for valid documents from a seller a valid land title from the land registry in case of a standalone four family size look at the size of your family in relation to the house you are to buy the size of the house in relation to the plot of land People need to buy houses with enough compound for children's play area, events such as family gatherings, parties, and parking. Five, inspections and tests. In Uganda, there are issues with damp houses that have high moisture content on the walls, causing peeling of paint. However, one can establish whether the walls of the house have high moisture content by using a moisture measure, a standard procedure that is usually done by a professional engineer. If the moisture is above normal, then you may need to discuss with the seller on how that can be remedied as it may be from poor waterproofing of the foundation. Six. A person can hire an independent registered engineer or architect to do quality tests on the house. For example, testing the quality of concrete. Experienced engineers also use tapping and accessing the sound of concrete. Hollow sounds are a sign of poor craft and fewer materials used. Good concrete sounds compact. The plumbing system in the house must be in check. Be careful with the pipes used and the manufacturer. Make sure water can be able to flush. 7. One should also consider looking at electric appliances which should be from a genuine manufacturer or approved distributor. Inside wall connections must be made with proof of documentation from a genuine electrician as children can easily plug out wires if wrongly connected. The 
the electrical system should be installed in such a way that the master switch is accessible by everyone in the house. It has to be in an open space. If you are using heavy appliances, you need to have circuit breakers in the house. You need to use bulbs, not over 9 watts in the house. 8. Standard measurements. A standard house comprises a master bedroom, two bedrooms for both female and male, a vista's room, kitchen, dining, living room, an indoor bathroom and toilet, and a balcony. They must build all this based on standard measurements to create a spacious house. Standard specifications for spacious houses include the standard height for staircases should be at 50 meters to 170 meters to favor both the young and the old. Standard dining room is 2.5 by 3 meters or 3 by 3 meters. Standard bedroom size is 3 by 3 meters for a non self contained room, 4.5 by 3 meters for a self contained room with a bathroom, toilet, and wardrobe. 3.5 by 4.4 meters for the living room. 3.5 by 3 meters for the fully furnished kitchen with heaters and sink. 2.8 standard height from floor to ceiling. 1.5 meters for the size of the balcony. 1.2 by 2 meters for bathroom reflection mirrors. Consider the parking area to accommodate a minimum of three cars at once. 9. Interior design. Interior finishing is very important and a professional interior designer can easily tell an ugly bathroom, the organization of the indoor kitchen, bedrooms and other utilities in the house. They sell most houses through mortgage before one makes a down payment. Consider using services of an interior designer. Other key factors to consider when buying a house include location in relation to access to social and economic services, size of the family, distance from the workplace, and noise pollution. Today our spotlight has been the six bedroom duplex house with a detached three bedroom standard on staff quarter for sale. It's located in Bunamwaya, Zana of Integral. Plot size is 35 decimals. So price, the property is up for sale at 850 million UTX. Slightly negotiable. Thank you so much for watching. I have been your host, Betty.